Hey guys, I wanted to start off this video by just giving you guys a small apology for not uploading recently. Uh, I know I don't necessarily have to do that, uh, and that the mark of a small channel is that every other video is a video apologizing for not uploading, but I wanted to do it anyway, um, just to kind of, I don't know, keep that integrity up or something. I, I don't know. Um, if you've been following my Twitter account recently, you know kind of what's been going on in my life and how crazy it has been for me. Uh, a lot of good things and a lot of really bad things have been happening. Um, I'm okay. Uh, there are some stuff I need to work on, uh, of course, but I feel like that's everybody all the time. Uh, but either way, uh, I do want to come back to making somewhat regular videos. I don't know when that will be. Hopefully it'll be soon. Uh, I will let you guys know when I am committing to coming back for reels, I guess. But for now, uh, this video is just going to be about a little friend of mine named Jazz Parsons. Uh, if you've been following my YouTube channel for the past year or so, uh, you know that about this guy named Jazz Parsons, who I've been kind of following uh, his journey uh, through his his journey through indie dev stuff. Uh, he, at the beginning of last year, he made a commitment to make a game every single month, which I thought was insane, but he kept up with it for a good while, and he actually has made quite a few games. Uh, and over the course of the past year, I've also been talking with him and kind of helping him through this process, um, and really we came to kind of a consensus, or he came to a consensus by talk, or with talking with me, that uh, Doing one game every single month uh, was good for the short term, but not for the long term. So he decided to take a bit of a break and kind of work on some bigger projects along the way, stuff like that. And I'm, I'm glad that he did it. Uh, however, this video is not about just talking about him and how cool he is. Although he is very cool, check out his itch.io in the description below. Thank you, future me. Um, but this video is about the few, uh, the couple games that he has made since I last made a video about him. Uh, the last video that I made was way back in last year uh, about Time Flux Metro, the time loop game about stopping a train from arriving and blowing up the entire city in a future apocalyptic world. Uh, the two games that I'm going to show off today that he has made since then are Asaka Slayer and Quest for Candles, or Quest of Candles, my mistake. Uh, both of these games are very cool. Uh, I have not played them, even when recording this, I have not actually seen them yet. So let's go ahead and jump right in to those games. And here we are with our first game, Azaka Slayer. This is uh, supposedly a horror game uh, where you are being chased around by this big old dangerous monster dude, so that's fun. Uh, okay, press the F key to use flashlight, left mouse click to activate torches, having a stroke over here, uh, press left control to crouch and take cover, interesting, and your flashlight won't trigger danger. Uh, left mouse click to activate levers, activating all levers will open an escape. Uh, avoid getting too close to an Azakas, so this is a type of creature, interesting. Uh, getting too close will cause an Az Is it Azakas or like uh, Azakas? Azakas! Azakas! I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, there we go, that's what I'm gonna call it. Azakas. Uh, this will cause an Azakas. <laughs> Wait, okay, that's perfect actually. Uh, getting too close will cause an Azakas to chase you. Getting close enough and an Azakas will devour you. So, what I understand is that we need to find the. Uh, levers. We need to find all the levers in the level to open an escape and not let this thing kill us. Cool, let's go. And looks like there are three levers. Oh, oh, I'm in the game. Okay, cool. Uh, sweet. Okay, so... Oh, it's weird and fleshy sounding. Okay, so I think that that's actually the escape there. Oh, that is gross. Oh my gosh. Let's see, okay, so I can crouch and take cover. <laughs> that, uh, that is a lovely noise. Oh, goodness. 
This is a very, very long hallway. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> fright, wrong button. Oh jeez, oh jeez, he's coming. Oh jeez, oh jeez. He's coming, he's coming. Oh boy, okay. Maybe? Wait. Well, now I can't see him. Was that, was that, was that Azakaz? I'm gonna keep on going forwards. I'm going, uh, I'm going to sprint for the cover. Okay, oh, he might have taken a turn there. I see, I see, okay. Oh, there he is, there he is. Frick, 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 get undercover, get undercover. You can't touch me, man. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so weird. Oh, bit of an awkward turn, that's okay. Oh, that is, that is loud even for me. Okay, he is gone now. It does look like he has a bit of an enemy AI. Enemy AI. Gosh, it, it is hard to pronounce words sometimes. It's hard to English. It's just hard to English. Wait, where's he coming from? Is he across that wall? Okay. I need to be on the lookout for lovers. These are some pretty long hallways, but I would be... I would hate to, uh... get caught... with Azakaz on my... on my... on my Oz, so to speak. <laughs> I do actually kind of like the effects on the fire. It's a nice touch. Like, it's like, I know how he made that, and I, I think it's it's cool. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, he's coming this way. Frick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Gotta run, gotta run. No, oh, he's coming, he's coming. Is he coming this way? Please don't turn this way. Okay, cool. All right, we're fine, we're fine. Man, I have not found a single lever yet. I mean, this place is pretty big, so it makes sense. Although, I, I, the thing is, I don't know how big it is. It, it feels like it's just a big square. That's a lot of torches. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get in cover, get into cover, get into cover. You're fine. You're fine as long as you're in cover. Don't you worry about it. Get some ambiance. I wonder if he would notice me if I, like, walk out. Oh, okay, he's walking backwards now. Cool, cool, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, no, he's coming back, okay. Oh, he's thinking. <laughs> He's trying. Okay. Okay. I think... Is he gone? Am I good to continue walking? This is... The, okay, this is the terrifying thing. Like, I know that he didn't program Azakaz to, like... Like, be, like, a, like a good AI, so to speak, to, like, help out the player. Like... This is kind of the thing that's missing from a lot of modern games is... Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, there he is. It's this idea of, uh... Of, like, arcade-style programming. In the sense that... <laughs> oh. Smooth criminal. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But, like, okay, so I know that, like, he, it seems like he programmed it to, like, be reactive to where you are and, like, if you're making noise and stuff. But he didn't program it to, like, specifically go away and leave you alone for a time and stuff. So, theoretically, he could just hang around you for, yeah, and he's coming back. He could just hang around you for however long. Oh, this. Okay, no, this is fine. There's some cover here. There we go. 
Alright, got one. Got one right when he approached. <laughs> hey, bud. I have to go that way now. I have to follow that. I have to follow the Azakas. Like, come on. Okay. <laughs> if you see me doing this a lot, it's because I'm I'm actually leaning <laughs> in my chair just to see, like, oh, can I can I see around the corner? <laughs> Which of course I know I can't, but you know, it's fun. Okay, so we found one lever. Now we need to find the other two. The question is, where is that? I don't know. Wait, how is he on my left? Is he behind me? Is he on... Where? I heard that on my left, which is weird, because he... He was he was on the right. Okay, let's go down this way. There it is again. It sounds like he's on the other side of this wall. That's really close. Hold on. That's actually really close. Yep, there he is. Ah, oh, man. Okay, that's actually really cool. So, he's like, he's messing with me. <laughs> in a way. Where, like, I'll hear, I'll hear Nausicaa's, like, on the other side of a wall, and I know that there actually won't be one there. But then, but, like, I know at this point I'm fine. So whenever I hear one, I need to be like, okay, is that a real one or a fake one? Okay, there is, there is cover here. Okay, I, I'm okay, I'm okay. Alright, two out of three, two out of three. I need, okay, I need to find the last one. I've only, I've only got one left. Need to figure out where I haven't gone yet. Oh. Is that a real one? I think that's a real one. I think it's... Yep, there he is. There he is. Uh, get into cover. Get into cover. Oh, I thought I'd auto crouch. What the heck? Wait, is he not coming this way? Where did he go? Did he just turn around? Okay, I have not been down this path. That's good. It means that we're somewhere new. Oh. Oh no, that sounds close. Oh, that is. Okay, get undercover, get undercover, get undercover. Okay, we're fine. That was really close. That was that was a little too close for comfort. I like the vines there, by the way. I like the vines there. Uh man. Okay. I think I need to go down that hallway. Which, of course, is great, because that's exactly where he just went. Good old Azagaz. Okay, where is he going? I can at least get to this next cover. And now I cannot see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. <laughs> There's always this moment of panic. I, I love doing, like, turning off the flashlight and having just see it from the torchlight. Honestly, makes it a little more terrifying. Like, if, if there's one... If there's one change that I would make to this game, it would be that... that the Azakaz can still see you and detect you if you have your flashlight on. And, like, it won't go away or something until you have it off. Either that, or um, I have the flashlight on a battery timer. Yep, he's coming back this way, frick. Okay, there's a cover there. There is not a lever here. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Um, man. Where is that last lever? Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. Bye. Turn around. 
Every now and then I get a little bit hungry. Anybody else remember that commercial? Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit hungry and there's nothing really good around. Turn around. I don't know why, but I know I don't remember the original song, but I remember the parody for a commercial for it. Oh, nope. Okay, okay, we almost died. We almost died. Oh god. Yeah, that was really close. Also, what was that noise? <laughs> nope. Kind of reminded me of uh, friggin' deep fried memes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go a bit of a search party. Uh, so, uh, future me, editor me, you know what to do. Go! Hi, welcome back. We are being chased currently. And I have two, apparently. Okay, hiding here. Right, I remember this. Yeah, this area was a pain to get out of, I remember. Because he likes to patrol around this area. Turn, walk, okay, go. Okay, the one tricky bit is that I think he's going to be on my left. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can make it towards a cover spot. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Ooh, that's an unexplored hallway. That might be it. Hello. How you doing, boyo? Peekable. Okay. Alright, let's make a... Let's go down... Let's do this. Go down the hallway. Okay. Uh. Oh, and he's over here now. Frick. I have to wonder, like, cause that that seemed weird. Like, did he did he teleport the creature? Are th are there more than one? I haven't seen more than one in one spot though. It might be that um, if you're in a certain location then he'll do, like, a certain thing. My guess is just he has a wandering AI, and then if you go too far away from it, uh, then it'll teleport to a nearby location. The one that's, like, not within your sight or something. I'm getting lost. Yep, there he is. Okay. Wait. Wait, where is it coming from? There he is, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was not ready for that. You saw that, right? Are there more than one, actually? Yeah, 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 he went that way. <laughs> I'm just thinking of some comedic side character that's like, And you want us to go towards the monster? <laughs> you want us to follow that thing? Are you mad? <laughs> that thing could kill us. Ah, but where's your sense of adventure now? Oh, jeez, okay, that's, that's where it went. <laughs> yep, yep, that was, that was the right choice. Okay. There it is! I don't know why I'm still lighting torches. Okay. 
Okay. Now we just need to escape. Don't worry. We're fine. I have this thin layer of stone to protect me. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the problem. I have no idea where the exit is. I assume it's back at the beginning, but I don't remember how to get there. It's just a bunch of long, dark hallways. They're all the same to me. Lies. I know you're fake. I know your games. Your tricks won't work on me again. Oh, um, well, gotta go this way anyway. This might be the exit. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm so close. Come on. Okay, he turned around. All right. This is the beginning. But this is not the exit. Oh, no. That's not the exit. It's not the exit. It's not the exit! Ah! I don't know why, but my avatar really wants to be happy all the time. Oh, hi. Oh, dear. Oh, heck. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Can he not go towards the entrance? That was weird. Like, he even made the pose to, like, attack me. Okay, I see something in the end of this hallway. Oh, no. He is right behind us. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. And he turned around. All right. Well. Ah, okay. Nope. Going for it. JJ's! JJ's! Ah! Hey, we did it! I feel like there needs to be, like, like some music behind this or something. <laughs> you know what? I'll have put something in post for sure. fade to black. Woo! Not bad. Honestly, not bad. Um, I believe this was like the, it was either the fourth or I think it was actually the fifth game in the Jazz Parson series. But yeah, uh, monster design was cool, although uh, that might have just been a unity asset of some kind. It's a very cool unity asset, though. Um, the level layout, what it was big. It was very big. Um, it was a little weird that the exit was very close to the entrance. It kind of makes sense, and it, it did actually provide for an easier escape. Um, and maybe, like, maybe if I had done it right, then I would have seen the exit before discovering the rest of the stuff. I will say, though, I, I definitely did not memorize the layout at all. There were places and layouts that I recognized, but I did not know how they connected together. It's always difficult to figure that out, though, so not not too upset about that. Um, the AI, I don't know what you friggin' did with the AI, but it was... It's good. Um, it, it's nothing like, you know, top-notch amazing or anything, but it's, it's good. Be I knew that I was going to have to interact with it fairly often. So there was never a, mom a moment where I was just, you know, going down the hallways and not expecting to see him around the corner. Um, but yeah, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Quest of Candles. The Quest of Candles. Uh, also, I just realized for the entirety of that past video, or the, the uh, of Azaka's Lair, that I was staring directly at the camera, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is uh, the Quest of Candles. Let us play. I admit trusting that blasted imp with the task was a mistake. Those special candles must be found or I fear Lady Lions won't get the gift she deserves. There were five bundles of very, uh, of five very special candles. Undoubtedly, that devilish imp spread them across the city of ruin. Or... Uh, <laughs> 
across the city to ruin the celebration. An old lizard like me can't move so quickly, and Lady Lyons will be arriving soon. You must look around the city to find those candles. Quickly now! Alrighty. We are on a quest for candles. Ah, <laughs> ah okay, here we go. Uh, Alright, we have a quest list. And we have the city. I like that the when you run, uh, the camera perspective changes a little bit. That's just a small thing, but it is very nice. Ooh, and I have a jump. Hello. Knock, knock. Anybody home? James not here. Apparently not. Uh, 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 uh. A little shaky now. Oh boy. Ah, heck. Well, this is already uh, remis reminiscent of uh, my favorite jazz game, uh, Escape from Eden. In more ways than one, unfortunately. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, heck. Okay, this... This is harder than it looks, for multiple reasons. <laughs> Oof. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to say this. Jazz, my guy, you gotta, you gotta work on your collisions, bud. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I have tried to not say it. But... This game, unfortunately, is suffering from very similar problems to uh, Escape from Eden. Oh, 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 there we go. In the sense that uh, if I hit a wall, then I immediately zip down. For whatever reason, uh, what I like to do a lot of times in certain games, or what just ends up happening sometimes, is that I will be right up next to a platform like this, like I'm moving forwards and stuff, and then I'll try to jump onto it. But obviously, if I do that here, it doesn't quite work. And so that actually makes the platforming a lot harder because it's a lot it's a lot less forgiving. Um, and not in a way that makes like, oh, it's it's difficult, therefore it's challenging, therefore it's fun. It's like like E even like right here with this little edge right here I'm like moving forward and I can't jump over it I have to back up a little bit and then jump and then move forward like it it's most it's mostly fine honestly it's mostly fine but here we go ba -da -ba -bing! I did the thing and hey uh, now we get to reenact Assassin's Creed Whee! sploosh Awesome. Yeah, he definitely knew what he was doing with that, though. <laughs> I love this, uh, this castle, though. This city. Oh, hello. Kitty! Kitty? Oh. Where did that cat wander off to? Have you seen my kitty? If you see her, please bring her home. Oh, man, oh, man. We are going on a fetch quest, boys! <laughs> uh, Alright, so we need to find a little cat. Cats like to climb trees. It is not in a tree. Okay. Oh, hey! There's the cat. Hello, kitty. Hello. Grab. Yeah, I now have a cat. I shall call you Kitty. Because that's what your mama named you. You found her! Thank you for bringing her back to me. Please take this as a reward. I... I am curious as to what kind of motion you're doing there. Uh, oh, there we go. A hey. Ba-da-ba-bang! Hey, there's the race guy. Um, mouth sensitivity, just for me personally, is a bit high. Um, but that's just not a big deal. Hey! This is definitely a kid. My parents have been shopping for Lady Lion's birthday, and I'm bored. Want to race? Sure, kid. I'm going to crush you. Oh, he's a fast little booger. Oh, my goodness. Wait, this kid's actually really fast. Yeah, this music, though. 
We're, we're in the Arabian Nights now. Got to take that inner edge. The, the inner lines. Got to see the racing lines. Aha, uh -huh, I have overtaken you, kid. There's no way you can defeat me. I am too fast, too quick, too powerful. Well, you'll... Oh, okay, can't go over that. That's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, uh, right over here. Well, <laughs> loser. Come on, kid. I can run this race with uh, one leg behind my back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you're way too slow. Look at that loser. The little loser. And here we are again. Bada bing, bada boom. I win if I do say so myself. Aw. What? You didn't want to come out and say congratulations? Just gonna leave me with the prize? What a sore loser. Loser. <laughs> just just put in that, uh, the, the Spongebob, um... Ow, oh, the, 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 the one loser whistle or whatever. Loser. Loser. <laughs> oh, hello. This is, uh... Get Lost. Uh, you sure about that? Whatever's left is ours. Better not see you with anything valuable. Get lost or else. Huh. That's interesting. Definitely in crumbles here. Oh, hello. I spy with my little eye some candles. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Ba -da -ba -bang. Yep, gonna go over this and then uh gonna, gonna run maybe. Oh can I not can I not go over that? Oh I can't go over that. Oh well. Just gonna just gonna go this way. Bye. Bye. Alright, one more set of candles to get. Ooh, music change. That was actually pretty smooth. Mm hmm. You're looking for magic candles? Come to think of it, I did see a ship loading some interesting looking cargo. If you hurry, you might catch them. They're getting ready to leave the port as we speak. Ah, I'd better not let them go. Don't leave! Okay, now you can leave. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Cool. All right, return to the priest. Priest! I got the candles! All 25 of them! Or 30 of them? I forget how many were in a bundle. I think I think it was 25 total. I think there were five each. Hello. Outstanding! I knew I could trust you. You save the day. Most importantly, Lady Lion's special gift. Let's begin the celebration. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Aww. Okay, I, 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 let me let me count. I'm only counting twenty-four. Oh, happy twenty-fourth. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the Lady Lion's is based off a real person, and this is kind of a birthday gift. Um, so yeah, H happy 24th or 25th, depending on how many candles there are. <laughs> uh, that was the quest of candles. That was, that was pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, it was simplistic, of course, but it, it's like, uh, that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. For the kind of game that it is, that's what it's going to be. Uh, but if I... If I had to offer any amount of criticism, 
Um, oh. <laughs> the, uh, the cutscene manager doesn't know what to do right now. <laughs> uh, a bit of an up, up love sea warning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me, let me get to something different. Uh, but yeah, criticisms, uh, and stuffs. Uh, I would have liked to see a bit more verticality, so to speak. Um, like being able to walk on to various buildings and whatnot. But like for what it is, like you, you've done more work on a game for a, a birthday celebration than I have for other projects. Um, but yeah, uh, congrats to you for doing that. And of course, the biggest of congratulations. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, the reason why I have come out with uh, this video and I'm kind of catching up, so to speak, on all this is because uh, if you follow Jazz on Twitter, which you should, then you would know that Jazz recently accepted a job at a company, which is like so freaking cool. Uh, he's got like, I believe he is a level designer at this company called like Honor Games or something, uh, which is so cool, dude. I'm, I'm really proud of you for being able to do this, of course. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck in all that you do and whatnot. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's super cool. It's super cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, of course, do all the things that you gotta do. Do do the likes, do the subscribes, do the comments and stuff. I always like to hear uh, from you guys. Anytime that I see a comment on one of my videos, I'm always a little bit excited because it's like, ooh, somebody's here talking with me. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, expect to see some stuff in the future at some point. I'll let you guys know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, without further ado... Uh, thank you all for watching, and you have a good a, a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night, and a good day, and a good week, and a good month, and a good year, and uh, all the other stuff. Have a good time. Bye.